Are you curious to know what your Instagram profile actually says about your personal brand? I've been getting so many requests to actually do a brand analysis on your website and your Instagram profiles. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Stay tuned to the very end because I'm gonna give you hot tips on how to optimize your Instagram account so you look awesome. What's up bosses? I'm Talene Raman Figueroa, your personal brand expert at Boss Diplomat, making you look so good you can't be ignored. My job is to help you look awesome, be awesome, feel awesome so that you are attracting the best customers, people who are willing to pay that top, top dollar for your expertise, for your services and for your product. Hey, whatever floats your boat, whatever you're selling, whatever your gifts are, let's use that to your advantage. And the only way we can do that is through you. So today, let's take a look at a real life Instagram account. This individual has asked me to take a look at his Instagram profile because he's curious to know what an expert thinks of his profile. Now, this individual does not own a business, that he does actually work for another company. So I'm curious to see what his vibes are, what his flavors are, how he presents himself, and to people who really don't know him, what kind of impression is his Instagram profile actually leaving? What is the lasting impression of the things that he's sharing online? Is there any way that he can improve his personal brand just by changing and tweaking a few elements on his online profile? Let's take a look. Okay, so today I'm reviewing Jonathan Mullins jonathan.mullins.1 on Instagram. In order for me to look at his profile, I had to ask him to not make his profile private. If you do have a private profile, that means you are using it mainly for your friends and family and not for public consumption. So the first question I will ask Jonathan is, why are you on Instagram? And what is the reason why you are using Instagram? Is this just to have an account of all of the cool stuff that you're doing or keeping friends and family up to date on all of the cool stuff that you're doing? You know, I would love to know um, how you're using Instagram. Okay, so just looking at the general profile here. So great, you have an image of yourself, but it does look like a selfie. You are not looking directly at the camera. It is so important that you make eye contact with the people that are viewing you because that shows respect, that shows confidence, and it shows that you're not hiding anything because by looking down, you're looking a little bit unsure of yourself. And I know you're not the guy who's unsure of himself. Looking at your post count, so it seems like you don't post often because there's only 25 so that's quite low your account was private so i understand why your followers is quite low but you are following a lot of people i'm gonna check that out who are you following okay you're following me thank you um solopreneurs club okay there's quite a lot of businesses that you're following that's interesting doesn't seem to be a lot of individuals, mainly business. So it makes me think, how comes your account is not made public? And if you're following so many businesses, is your intention to connect with other business owners? Are you a business owner yourself? My main question is why you are on Instagram if the kind of people that you're following are business owners. Looking at your profile, Jonathan Mullins, EA is right next to your name. My next question would be, what does EA stand for? Is this an academic credential? I don't think it is. Does it stand, is it an acronym? Is it a business acronym? Is it executive assistant? Is it engineer, architect, is it, oh, what does EA stand for? If I was to do a EA acronym search, executive assistant comes up and then economic analysis, <laughs> and last in fiber, obviously that's not you, engineering analysis, emergency assistance. Okay, as you can see, EA can stand for anything. You need to be really, really clear on what that is because you're now opening yourself up to a lot of questions because even I can't answer what EA is. Okay, you are in ATL. Uh, so I'm assuming that's your location. 
Look, I'm not American, so I don't know what ETL stands for. Atlanta, okay. See, I have to Google these things, you know? Don't ever assume your audience know what you're talking about. Acronyms is a no-go. Try to avoid acronyms as much as possible because it just leaves more questions. And I'm even questioning what all of these acronyms mean and I have to Google you. You wanna make it as easy and as brainless as possible when people are looking up your profile. So you're based in Atlanta. Awesome. Just say Atlanta instead of ATL. This is not an airport, okay? The next profile paragraph says travel, tax, guru, and then there's all these other little like acronyms again. CO, MX, PA, CR, BS, JM. So my assumption is these are countries and my assumption is these little JM, BS, um acronym is not an acronym actually it's actually the code for the flag but as you can see it is not showing up on your profile so that needs to be fixed clearly you're a travel junkie you love to travel there's some mention about tax and then there's a little smiley face with the um the dollar sign emoji with the face on it and right next to that says guru so you're a tax guru but because you have emojis in between each of your the description i don't know what your focus is right now i don't know what you're trying to say here because it's too disjointed next line it says ceo with a sunglass emoji ceo at jlm tax and accounting solutions llc Okay, so now we know that Jonathan is a business owner. He's the CEO of an accounting service company, but your profile is private. So are you using your Instagram profile to build relationships with new clients maybe or what, you know? Um, that's the biggest question I have right now for you. So there's a lot of different interests that you're sharing with us on Instagram. The best advice that I can give you in optimizing your Instagram account, once we know why you are on Instagram and how you're using Instagram, we wanna show off who you are. So are you representing the travel, Jonathan? Are you representing tax guru, Jonathan? Are you representing God-loving, God-fearing, Jonathan? Are you representing Atlanta? Jonathan, you know, there's so many different sides of you. You need to pick what part of yourself you are sharing on Instagram in order to build your personal brand and your credibility online. There's one more line in the profile for Jonathan's Instagram account. And on the very bottom, it says achieving greatness, capital letters, in God's eyes. Clearly, this is a very personal account, but the fact that you mentioned where you work and the kind of people that you're following, it's giving me mixed vibes. I don't know if you're using this personally to acquire new clients, because then you're talking about very personal things to you, you know, your relationship with God. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's very mixed. Now, taking a look at your story highlights. So at the moment, you have a lot of story highlights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different story highlights. And what are the titles of your story highlights? We have Colombia co-trip, MX, so Mexico. So you have Colombia, Playa del Carmen. So that's in Mexico. You have a year in review in your story highlights, life lessons, reality checks, three faces of truth. Okay, 1% mindset. Interesting. So yeah, it very much shows off the fact that you love traveling. Your year in review, I'd be very curious to actually look at this. But your year in review doesn't even look like it's your year in review. This is somebody else's year in review. So that's not good. This is not your story highlight. And there's only one video for that year in review. Okay, life lessons. In the life lessons reel, again, this is not your life lessons. This is somebody else's reel that you have repurposed and there's only one video. The whole reason why you have these story highlights is basically creating a portfolio of all of the different reels that you have shared over the lifetime of your Instagram uh, portfolio and then archiving it. This is a mini story of your niche for that specific bucket in that story highlight. And at the moment, I'm not seeing any of these belong to you except for the travel aspect. 
of your Instagram Reels. I'm gonna ch I'm gonna click on the one percent mindset again. This is not your video. This is somebody else's video, and you're just repurposing it. Clearly, these are things that are important to you, but it's always better that this comes out of your own mouth or this is your own content. It is absolutely fine to have somebody else's reel in your story highlight but there needs to be more than just somebody else's work that you're showing off talk about it this is a great opportunity for you to speak your truth now okay so let's move down on his actual post you only have 25 posts so there's not going to be too much for me to review but i'm going to scroll down and see what you're posting just at a glance before i take a look at your individual post so Here's my man, Jonathan Mullins. Okay, so you look like a really cool, friendly guy. A lot of positive energy, a lot of positive vibes, some swagger, nice. Um, quite a lot of selfies. I'm curious to know what you are actually writing in your captions based on these Instagram posts. There's quite a lot of snapshots of you and your buddies on holiday. Okay, so holiday snaps are um a favorite so jonathan likes to take selfies on holidays with his pals and show off all of the cool places that he's been to and make us very jealous <laughs> so i'm going to click on one of them so on average you have about 40 likes that is really good you have a good amount of engagement on your profile um and now assuming your friends and family are following you this is probably why um but that's great you have some engagement i clicked on the very first post of jonathan's picture the caption says just a chill sunday of gratitude and there's just a selfie of jonathan and the engagement's quite good um one of the comments says my man living life and investing in you first can't get no better than that so clearly people appreciate you there's a lot of love for you and that's really great to see um the pictures that you have um you know they're quite honest they're honest it is of you um you seem to have a hard time looking at the camera it seems um i feel like your eyes are always on the side of the camera so i would love to see more eye contact unless there's a specific reason why you're doing that which is also fine i'm going to click onto the second one second post says atlanta jazz festival was a vibe and there's an image of Jonathan, very pretty lake scenery, peace sign. Okay, uh, someone has commented the big dog. Nice. Oh, and there's a it's a carousel. It's a carousel image. Okay, so clearly Jonathan is sharing the Atlantic Jazz Festival with his followers. And this was posted in May 2023. So it's very clear that you don't keep up with your Instagram. The very, very last post was posted on October 8th, 2023 so you're not keeping up with it okay that's interesting um there are some quotes as well so the third post says positive energy activates constant elevation and on the side spells out peace so these are clearly values that jonathan has and shares a lot of pictures with his homies okay there's a picture of him with a very cool looking dude with sunglasses and the caption says about last night the 40th birthday celebration thank everybody who came out to celebrate with me i had an amazing night definitely was a vibe oh happy very late birthday two years ago <laughs> um but that's great um again lots of engagement so clearly jonathan has a really great following so in general um you give you know you give off a very warm vibe i like how you are present in your instagram i like how you are not invisible. You like showing yourself off on Instagram. Um, but again, my question would be, why are you using Instagram? Um, if it's just for a personal archive of all of the cool things that you get up to, that's that's great. That's, you know, that's completely valid. Um, but I'm sure you've done a lot of cool stuff since October, 2023 definitely would love to see more of an update so there you have it my very first peek into jonathan mullen's instagram account as you can see there's a lot of potential for jonathan to really up his game in his personal brand he is in front of his brand you know he's showing himself off he's showing off his life experiences a lot of his values 
he likes taking selfies with people that he really cares about it is a private account so there is a little bit of a wall to what he's sharing with who but i do appreciate the fact that he's he's on there there is a lot of engagement in his profile but my question would be, Jonathan, why are you using Instagram? If it is for business, then we definitely need to change it up. We want to show off one part of you. And it shouldn't always be about going on holiday and hanging out with friends unless it is a personal account. And if that is, absolutely fine. But if this is eventually going to become a business account where you're showing off the tax side to Jonathan Mullins, then we definitely need a strategy in how you post, when you post, specifically what you post and then how you write about each of those posts if you're interested for me to review your instagram account and your profile message me at fairybossmother at bossdiplomat.com i would love to review your instagram profile if you want a more in-depth review of your personal brand in your business hey book a free mini brand session with me the link is here somewhere in my profile i would love to see you in my calendar See you next time.